Hey everybody, this is Will with Carolina Thread Place, and today we are going to talk about cutting instruments. More so scissors and what to use them for and what not to use them for. So as you can see here, I have a nice little assortment of cutting utensils. So, what do you use these for? Well, you can use them for pretty much anything, but... If you use fabric scissors on paper, you will get cut. Now, I am missing some stuff or some scissors because I don't own a pair. Like the perforated little jagged ones, I don't have those. Things like that I do not have. But we can still talk about the ones that we do have. So, we all know what this is. This is a rotary cutter. This particular one is just a hooks and threads brand. You know, it opens. I have a regular straight blade in there. I actually have one that is, I don't think it's installed on it. No, it's not. I have two different kinds. They're just regular straight blades. Um, I do have a blade that does perforation, um, but I don't think I have the blade installed on it. So always make sure this is covered because this can cut you. Regular old scissors. These used to be fabric scissors, but um, they got dull, so I just use these for paper. These are the only things that I allow um, to cut paper. Even when it comes to my heat and bond, because it's got paper, I will just use this to cut this. Now, once it's on the patch and stuff, that's a different story. There is fabric, and it does affect the blade as much these are just regular steel blades stainless steel so this is vinyl I just use this to cut vinyl or I'll use these right here for vinyl but this is what comes with the Cricut um, one of the packs so and I got a free pack when I bought mine so I use it for that applique scissors or duckbill these are for um, whenever you're you sew out an applique and there's a little bit of fabric left over You'll actually use this to kind of cut Around the stitch and cut the excess fabric away from the satin stitches These are my favorite. These are actually titanium um, Blades these were extremely expensive here. Let's actually do it the right way as I kick the camera Come on, there we go, titanium. I use these for cutting threads and stuff. Um, and it generally works very well. I also have the Frisker versions, which is Curve, which gets really good into little tight spots and stuff as well. We also have wire cutters. Like I said, these are this we're doing dealing with cutting. So you would use this to cut wire or little things like that for like jewelry and stuff. And then this is, I have three sizes of this one. It all depends on how fast I need to cut the material. So I have three sizes. And these are my fabric scissors. I do not use these for anything else except for fabric cutting. Because, you know, like your mom used to say, if you use her fabric scissors, she will cut you. So, there you have it. All different types of cutting utensils. We were just going to talk about scissors, but, you know, I decided to throw in a little extra. So, for today, the letter is S. Could you have guessed that? Probably. But, anyways, be sure to like, thumbs up this video if you enjoy it. And please let me know in the comments below if I missed anything or I went over too fast or what have you or just to say hi. And definitely starting tomorrow, we are going to be doing a extended sew out over the next seven days. I wonder what it's going to be. Hmm. I know you'll find out tomorrow. Until then, y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.